Hello, I'm David. <laughs> the music might be a little fucking loud. Yo, what's up, Rocky? Let's try that again. Oh, I'm gaming Hi. Kane. My name is David Cage. I'm the writer and director of Fire and Ice. I just thought there's a few things you should know before you get started. I'd like you to meet my friend Bob. You'll be controlling him while you're learning. And Let's window begin with too. something simple. Move toward the mark on the floor. I look less fucked on your guys' end here. Give me a sack. Move toward the mark on the on the floor. And uh More like washed out on mine. Like a lot. The fuck? Oh, and I might know what it is. The mark is just there. That is an actual voice, man. What the hell are you doing, Cage? Turn like the brightness down, I guess. Only the beginning of the keynote in? Oh, man. Alright, it's less washed out. Now I should suggest some shit. <laughs> oh, the first hat on, dude. Oh, shit, boys. Detroit become human. If you don't know, this is the guy that made... Heavy rain and Detroit become human. This is like actually the guy apparently right here. <laughs> In the game, boys. Alright, Bob. So this game was banned on Twitch in the past. Oh, well, it is technically banned. If it's the adult version. Which is the PS2 version, I think. In Europe. But the American version got censored. And the remaster borrows from the European version. But it has an M rating... Which they specifically say is allowed Come on, in the Twitch rules. The, the fuck up, Dave. Also, like I said earlier, I went into the any files. And I actually turned it to the US mode. There won't even be any sex scenes, man. Ain't gonna be a single sex. My camera's way too dark. Give me a sec. Oh shit, dude. We can run, man. My dude, Bob, man, you can run. Jesus, dude. Now, this is a cinematic camera. <laughs> Perfect. Now you know how to move about. You're also going to have to be able to observe your environment. To do so, you'll have direct control of the cameras. Come on, give it a try. Oh shit, boys. Yo, man. Is this the future of video games, boys? Actual movie game, man. I control the movie. You're gonna also look around you and see exactly what you want to see. <laughs> this is such a gimmicky fucking, like, 90s, 2000, like, fucking bullshit thing. But you won't be just looking around. <laughs> you don't want to do this at all. You also have to interact with your environment. Go to the doors. Go to the door. Do you see the symbol at the top of the screen? It indicates the movement you have to make to execute the action. Do it slowly to really feel you're controlling your character's hand. Go ahead. Mm. That's uh. cool. Now that you know how to move about, That's use cool. the cameras and interact with the environment, we can move on to more serious stuff. Finite has action sequences where your character's life will be in danger. I'd better explain this to you. 
before you find yourself on your own. Thank you. Is this the rib stall? Oh, it's, it shows it up here. When this symbol <laughs> appears at the top of the screen, it means your character is gonna have to make a physical effort. You'll see, you'll be exhausted too. Yeah, if I'm a fucking idiot. I'm so tired. Help me. Hey, not bad. Now for something a bit more difficult. You're gonna find Beat. yourself facing all kinds of dangers Beat on the planet. You're gonna need a cool head and good reflexes if you want to survive. Reflex. <laughs> oh shit. In the directions, man. That's what can happen if you don't have good reflexes. Try again. I need good reflexes, dude. Whoa. Okay, I see you've got the hang of it. Now we can move on to something else. You can also choose what you want to say in dialogues in Farnai. Let's give it a try. Um, what do you think of my friend Bob? Hey Bob, did you hear that? Right, I see you've got the hang of the dialogues. Damn right, he's sexy. You'll only have a limited amount of time to make up your mind. So you better think fast. Now, let's talk about your mental health. In Fahrenheit, your actions modify the psychological state of your character. Each time it changes, the symbol will appear on screen. Take care of your character. Otherwise, you may fall into depression, madness, or even commit suicide. Oh, I nearly forgot well, something. That'd be important. a shame. In Fahrenheit, you'll be able to control all the main characters. Be careful. Your every action will have consequences for the story. A word of advice, think before you act. That's it. I've told you everything I know, or nearly everything. There are still lots of things to discover, but I'll leave you the surprise of finding them for yourself. Now it's up to you to play. And be careful. You're entering a world where anything can happen. Keep every character alive? Can you, like, fuck shit up from the very start, or is there just, like, little choices on the spot? I'll just make a million saves if that's even possible. The game auto saves apparently a lot. I'll try. Things are never quite what they seem. We think we understand the world around us, but we really only see the outside, what it seems to okay. be. I used to be just like you. I believed in humanity, the newspapers, soap commercials, politics, and history books. One day, the world kicks you in the teeth, okay. and you don't have any choice oh. but to see things the way they really are. My name is Lucas Kane. My story is the one where an ordinary guy has something extraordinary happen to him. Maybe it was supposed to happen. Maybe it was my destiny or my karma or whatever. I know one thing for sure. Nothing's ever going to be the same again. Oh, shit. Guys, let me know how the audio is as we go. It all started right here. Where else could it happen? New York, capital of the universe. New York. The chessboard destiny chose for the last big game. I was just another pawn living my pawn's life. Until that night, when my life descended into chaos. This is a movie game, boys, so you should, should enjoy this early proto-movie game. I think the only game they made before this was Omicron or some shit. I don't even know what that is. They had, like, Patrick. Was it Patrick? Not Patrick Swayze. It was, uh... God. Somebody else in it. I don't remember. He's dead, though.
It's already good, dude. It's already good, dude. Jesus, God. What have I done? I... I didn't want... It was like a dream. Oh, Luke. Come on, son. Quick. I... I I've got to get out of here before somebody comes in here. Coming in, dude. Here for the Kino, man. Oh my god. He can't help himself, man. <laughs> I think my controls are already fucked. Though. Guys getting fucking remote controlled. <laughs> my cold boy. Ooh, my cold boy, man. Right, we gotta fucking wash. flopping his arms around. Free falling. And I'm free. <laughs> We're well washed. Am I saying something real quick, buddy? Oh, yeah. Okay. Boys, let me know if he's too loud. We'll figure it out as we go. Down. I understand. Out of order. Oh. And crisp, dude. Can we dry our hands? Dude, this is the future of games. Might be too loud. Or I might be too quiet. Turn it a little bit. Turn yourself up, Jimmy. Me? Right now. Mm. Right, I'm turning up. Alright, hopefully that is, is better. Jimmy boy. Barred up. I can't get out this way. Fucking suck. Really? He's anxious, bro. The rewash, do I? Oh my god, where the knife? The knife. I've got to get rid of it. What's up, Rocky? Not much, man. Doing a little stream action tonight. Chilling. Taking a little break from the monster hunter. Empty. I need the fucking condoms, man. Last my things before the reset. Oh, I know the feeling. 
Yo, dude, they put out a release date for Sekiro. Isn't it like March or something? Oh, I was gonna lie to you and say it was pretty soon, but yeah, it's March. Fuck you, dude. <laughs> I think we're good here, boys. Apparently he doesn't want to clean up the shit on the bottom. Just eat the body. Should have just ate it. Taking too long, Jimmy. Taking too long. <laughs> bum 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 bum. Don't. Hey, sir, your bill. I need to get out of this neighborhood before the police get here. The bill. Jimmy. <laughs> snow. Nobody goes anywhere. A crime has just been committed. I'm going to have to ask you to stay calm and wait here for the police to arrive and check your ID. Who's this bum? How has BFA been treating you, though, Rocky? Dude, that guy's the punish bomb, dude. <laughs> he had the fucking scarred eyes, man. That's Hank. Oh, Hank. From Detroit, become human. Oh, shit. Yeah, I figured I'd get us a little bit of stream tonight. Um, we'll probably just do like, I don't know, five hours of it or something. Maybe do some more tomorrow. Bob or something Snyder. else. We'll see. Why do they always wait for me to go on duty before they start killing each other in the middle of the night? Tyler, somebody gets murdered every day in New York. But especially when I'm on night duty. It's as if every psycho in the city has it in for me. If you want a bitch, do it inside. That way I don't have to preach to death listening to it. <laughs> You're the boss, Carla. Nice hot rod, my man. Badass. Five years on the force, I've seen some murders, but you never really get used to death. You just learn to live with it, that's all. I still don't know if it was fatigue or cold or something else, but I clearly remember the bad feeling I got when I walked into that restaurant, as if some part of me already knew that this time, something was different. Something was different this time, my man. You're like 20 feet tall, man. How's it going, McCarthy? Evening, Inspector. I've been waiting for you. Hey, Tyler. Hey, Martin. So, what happened? Homicide. I found the body in the toilet. I had to go before I went home. Did anybody notice anything strange? No, nobody saw anything. Do we have a suspect? A client left just before I found the body. To top it all, he left without paying. Kate tried to talk to him, then he left. He left without pay. How was the victim killed? With a blade, from what I can Oh no, boys, we're already fucked. But we should wait for the autopsy. What were you doing here? Were you on duty? I was. Where are you on duty? Here when the murder happened. <laughs> Fucking subs, I dude. By here after work. Yeah, I know. Kate's coffee is the best in the So quality. God, this game has Which more fucking time choices to? than the oh, was at that his newer shit. Yeah. Like two seconds. Is that the waitress over there? Yeah, Kate Morrison. I think that you should interrogate her. If you don't mind me saying, go easy on her, Inspector. She's still in a state of shock. I wonder if you can just get out of here with no problem. It's late. I think we can go home and get some sleep. Really? I'm gonna wait until you're finished with Kate if you don't I don't mind. think you can, but I think you can pay the bill, like... Surreptitiously swoops on out. Uh, but the police always appear. Knock. Back then, we didn't know anything yet. We just thought it was cold, you know? If I'd known, I probably would have stayed in bed. So I have to make I sure the cane guy or whatever stays alive? Yeah. I'm okay. not sure if he can die or not. Okay. But he's very important to keep alive. He is like the fucking. Kino Master. Jesus. Of this game. Robot Jesus. Robot Jesus. But better. <laughs> Tyler, can you
you shut that thing off? We're on a murder site here. Some soul, man. Hey, I just thought I'd chill the atmosphere a little. Okay, talk. I better turn this off before Carla pops a vein. Fucking, there's like meters for sanity and shit in this game, dude. Come the fuck on. I mean, I'm sure. Hey, Martin. It's functionally the same thing. Machines behind the bar just go help yourself. Yeah. Martin, you are the man. Have him a set. Man, this guy is dying proof that pissing can be bad for your health. What the fuck does that mean, dude? That means filler dialogue. Hmm. Tell me some good filler dialogue. Yeah. Alright, she's the important person in the hierarchy here. So we can have her talk to some people. Hey Garrett. Hey Frank, how's it going? Hey Carla. Hey Carla. So, you guys find anything? We took some samples here and there. We're almost finished. We were just waiting for you before we took the body away. Nice haircut, dude. Okay, Jesus. Let's take a look. Take a look after. Kate? I'm Inspector Carla Valenti. I'm in charge of the investigation here. Would you mind answering a few questions? No. Go Dude, ahead. their faces look so real. Have you been working here long, Kate? It'll be 11 years next month. <coughs> I've seen all sorts in this place. Down and outers, junkies, you name it. The till's been robbed a few times, but murder? That's a new one. Oh, John, he's such a nice guy. Did you know the victim well? John was a regular. He came every oh, month. Oh, Johnny. He always ordered the same thing and I left a nice tip. What was the man doing before the murder happened? He was there for a while. He was reading, I think. What was he like, Kate? Do you think you could describe him for me? I only saw him for a few seconds. Shit's so weird with the stick movements. Instead of just like a button. Fairly young. That's all I can Nothing like super clear. Was John here alone? Did he speak with anyone? John always came alone. We chatted a bit. The weather, his job. The usual stuff. Tell me about his he job. Did you get the impression that John and the suspect knew each other? No. I don't think they did know each other. The man had already been here a while when John came in. They didn't talk to each other. No, I'm, I'm almost certain that John didn't know him. I'm supposed to lay off certain options here. Did you hear anything while John was in the toilets? Sound of a struggle or yelling? No, I didn't notice anything. What happened before the murder? Man, you get like you zero of time before? for this fucking shit. No. It was just a night like any other. Can you tell me what you As long said? as we get to see all the Kino, I don't care what happened. I'll get hung up on it. Just chatting with Martin at the bar. I didn't even see John get up. Oh my god. Oh my god. You have to try to be strong, Kate. I know that this has been a shock for you, but you're the only one who can help us find the suspect. My shift was almost over. I was just chatting with Martin at the bar. John got up and went to the restroom. The man must have followed him. When he came back out, I noticed that he hadn't paid his bill. I'm careful, because that happens a lot here, people forgetting to pay their bills. What happened next? The guy just ran off without paying. It wasn't until Martin found John's body that I realized. Hmm. Did you happen to notice anything strange about John tonight? 
Did he seem worried or stressed out? No. He was just like he always is. He even made a joke when he came in. A joke. Do you think that you would recognize the suspect? That's it. I'll never forget that face. Perfect. Do you think that you could come down to the station tomorrow and help us construct a likeness of the killer? Tomorrow? Yeah. You think it'd be today, ma'am, before she starts forgetting? Help catch him. No matter what she says. Thank you very much for your help, Kate. I hope you're fine as they asked if you did it. People like that just don't deserve to live. Oh. I promise you, we'll do everything in our power to find him. Go home now and try to get some sleep. Martin will make sure you get home okay. Don't fucking touch me. Good night. No, well, that went well enough. Huh. Here's his fork, but where's the knife? Up the dude's fucking ass, man. What do you think? Cup of coffee and a soft drink? That's weird. What's up, Hang? He's a caffeine addict, or else he wasn't alone. You've been missing then. Missing the Kino? I just started like 30 minutes ago. That's what you mean. Well, well, the coffee's not on the bill. Thank you, my boy. Do you know this game? Shakespeare. If this is his, it's a pretty weird book for a killer to be reading. Garrett, there's a book under this table. Why don't you check it out for prints? You got it, Carla. You got it, Carla. Drink to Joe. All of the calls that came through this phone tonight. You got it, Carla. <laughs> you got it, Carla. Tyler, I'm gonna take a look outside. This is definitely where we took them in. You got Can it. You answer me. I go answer him. You know, did the punish bomb. Good evening, sir. Whoa. <laughs> hey. What a fucking badass. Someone was killed in that restaurant tonight. Did you happen to see anything or anyone unusual? Did I see something? Uh, Smug. I don't see nothing. But mind my own business. Cold enough for you? Yeah, well, luckily I got this to keep me warm. Teeth, man. Want a little splash? Okay, I'm gonna go try to get someplace warm. Take care of yourself. Bum knows something, man. <laughs> this is fine. And blood on the ground? Have you seen this game before, Pang? Familiar with this Kino experience? Not much chance of finding anything this far from the restaurant. Snippets? I'm gonna head back in. I see. This is David Cage's single most Kino experience. <laughs> you can look at Heavy Rain and you can go, but wait a second, how could you? How I'm gonna spoil Heavy Rain, by the way. I'm just telling you right now, I'm gonna fucking spoil I'm gonna it. spoil Detroit and Heavy Rain this stream, I think. Okay, there we go then. You can look at Heavy Rain and you can go, But wait, man, how could I have been playing as one of the killers when the internal dialogue is inconsistent with the fact that he would never have said something like that to himself? What the fuck, man? And you can think, that's, that's Kino. But you don't understand. <laughs> you don't know true Kino. This is Kino. <laughs> this entire experience. It's, it starts off low-key Kino, low Kino, if you will. Then it slowly ramps up 
and by the end, you have reached a point <laughs> of sheer quality so high that you die. Oh my god, we're gonna die, boys. If you don't feel like dying, you should probably get out before we finish this game. Then. And then once you've died, you ascend and you hit the fan fiction tier of existence. <laughs> All right, and fanfic. And about beautiful it. Joe pops up and he goes, Indigo Go, baby. Indigo Go, baby. Knife wounds. Hmm. So the knife. Quick, quick rundown for you. I'll give you a quick rundown. Give him a quick rundown. Starts off with this guy, Lucas Kane, you know, like. Everything changed when the Fire Nation attacked. And you gotta be crazy. This just guy moaning to himself. And then he's in a bathroom. And he's possessed by some kind of cult man. Remote controlling him and stabs this poor lad here. And then he runs away in the snow. Because Katie was too dumb to pay for his bill and avoid detection. Oh. My choices are already mattering, boys. Wasn't killed in the stall. The killer dragged the body in to hide it. Did he just touch that blood? I think he just touched that blood. It was a different I time, dude. I mean, this is a police officer wearing like aqua camo for some reason. I know, dude. In baggy pants. Stylish. And he just touched his face. You, know, you guys you have issues with the volume balance. Right. Let me know. Oh, yep. right. I get it. I'll take care. I can go to this too loud or game's too quiet or I'm too loud. Bizarre. What? Well, he still has his credit card and a hundred bucks in cash on him. I guess the killer wasn't after his money. Mm hmm. I'll ask, you know. What? This is a restroom, isn't it? No, this is a crime scene. It's cool. I'm done. Must be all that coffee I've been drinking to try and stay awake. Fucking that officer stress, dude. This is leading her to suicide, boys. <laughs> She's, oh man, piss her pants. This is fucking a toilet or a urinal or. Does she need to look at this in 20 different ways or what? Um, can we look in this one? That's where you're sitting. Yeah, as long as we can get to the, the you know, like everything, and I don't really care what happens. Because you get like two seconds to do shit in this. I bet it's really crude on the choices compared to the other shit. Not likely. Get Garrett to analyze it, then we'll know for sure. Yeah, but if you left blood, dude, no way you're getting out of this shit. You ever consider a career in plumbing, Carla? You ever consider a career in comedy, Tyler? Hey, everybody says I'm a very funny guy. <laughs> Maybe it was a revenge thing, or a psycho. This town is full of psychos, they're everywhere. When I was in the Bronx, I saw guys who'd rip your guts out and hand them to you just so they could take your shoes. Tyler, can you shut up for two minutes? We need to look at any of these. We need to just check everything with everybody. One of those games where like. The camera and the controls are like wacky, so like I'll be going up, but I'm pulling like down because the camera's changing all the time. Oh, we gotta move him out of the way, boys. Game is pushing the envelope, if you will. The envelope, even. reason we want to go this far back <clears throat> oh 
shit, and then we gotta we do the little twirls and shit on the stick. Did you pay for that coffee? That's fresh hot coffee shit and guzzled that whole thing though. Resin. Let's get our dude some coffee, man. Drinking out of the same mug, dude. Fucking amazing. Can we just keep drinking, dude? That's all we got. Right, let's talk to the goonies here. Oh, how good the mystery is going to be in this. I feel like the mystery is going to be not terribly important after a while. Did you find anything, Tyler? Well, that, I'd have to be able to keep my eyes open. Keep up the good work, Tyler. Tyler's been my partner for almost a year. He grew up with the gangs in the Bronx before he decided to join the force. He's a gangster. Sometimes he's unpredictable, but... He's a good guy. Good. Guess we need to do some shit with him. I feel like we've checked. Not everything else. Martin says this was the guy's table. Steak and fries. Looks like he barely touched his food. You look hammered, Tyler. Yeah, this is my third night on call in a row. You know me, man. If I don't get my beauty sleep, it's zombie city. Uh, you should be out of here pretty soon, though. <laughs> you don't know Carla. She's capable of keeping everybody up to I need to go grab a little snack, and boys. She's by far the most stubborn girl I ever met. Hey, Garrett. Carla wants you to verify two or three things. Don't worry. I wrote it all down on this paper so you wouldn't forget it. I had a feeling that Carla was going to keep us up a little longer. I see how it is. Hmm? Huh? What? Oh. What? You fucking cut out for a sec. Oh, did something happen? Yeah, you left the call on and then switched back in. Oh. Uh, in one fell swoop. And I escape you. Subconsciously. I have the power to control electronic wave. Have him go talk to the, uh, the bum. Hey, Carla, I'm gonna take a look outside, see if I can find anything. <laughs> he says that he's, like, already out there. Hey, footprints. Maybe they belong to the killer. And some blood. Whoa. wondering you didn't happen to see anything unusual tonight did you ah leave me alone i got nothing to say i don't talk to cops <laughs> right thank you you've been helpful maybe you should have said police or something but i don't know what police means in the two seconds we had to fucking Choose there. This is the window from the toilets in the restaurant. Oh man, that's all I needed. Door doesn't open from the outside. You just entered depression, boys. 
Because the fucking door didn't open from the outside, man. Maybe we shouldn't even have touched it. Man, I can't keep my eyes open. I'm gonna go see if Carla's done yet. All right. She's not always easy to get along with, but she's the best damn cop I know. She the best damn cop I ever. Come on, let's go, Carla. I can't even keep my eyes open anymore. I want to take another look around. We haven't found the murder weapon. It might still be around here somewhere. All right. We're looking for the damn knife. I don't remember where we put it. I figured it's trash. I thought I tried checking it. This is me holding down right now, boys. And I'm going up. <laughs> Fucking amazing. Jacked controls. Maybe it's just in here. No. I don't remember where he put it. Might have just thrown it somewhere outside for all I know. Peak. Oh man, it wouldn't be over here. Let's go see what's over here though, just for shit. New York City. A taxi. Destinations of taxis leaving this area. Hmm. So we got something from that. Okay, I didn't think they let us go that far out. Wonder if the snow has any significance, man. In the Kino levels. Oh shit. A bonus. 20. 20 what? Oh man. Oh man. I'm feeling like a sleuth. Twenty picketats. Tyler's got the keys to the car. I better go find him. Well, I didn't see uh the knife anywhere, ma'am. We took we picked it up before, but Kind of one of those things like <clears throat> I don't really I didn't really notice what he did with it. Kind of all obscured and shit. I guess we check side here with him. No, they won't let us. I mean, you can check different things with different people, but. Oh, the knife went in here. Forgot I dropped it in there, I guess. Unless there's a gang running around hiding bloody knives and toilets, I think I might have found the murder weapon. He's not even like looking Great. at it. Tell Garrett. He's just I digging around. Touching okay. bloody knives in there in a toilet thing. Oh. 
what I'm supposed to be like helping that guy or not by fucking around. Yes, and that was it, then. You ready to go, Tyler? I think I've seen everything I need to see. Are you sure? We can take another look around if you want. No, nope, we're good. <laughs> Plenty good, son. Okay, let's bust. It's time to get back to the car. I'm dead tired. Let's bust. Fucking engine, baby. Sexy. The crow. Whoa, Jesus. He's alive. A nightmare. It was all just a horrible nightmare. I didn't kill anyone. My boy's ripped. Ripped so hard he's bleeding. <laughs> I'm gonna get ready and go to work. My fucking wrist bleeding out. My name is Lucas Payne. Lucas Payne. Where's Kane? Kane. Do I took off that jacket? Would you bleed? Why would you stab him at before putting him in the bathroom stall? Oh, they should have been FBI instead of just normal police, bro. Dude, they should have been fucking like CIA. Yeah, yeah that's what it was. Blood. Doctor. I can't go back to bed. Pavel, CIA. I'm not tired anyway. Clean up the fucking sheets in case they come back your house, bro. Dude, fucking cover them up. Fuck that shit. <laughs> This what he's doing, dude. Uh, this will hide the blood. I'll change the Smart. sheets later. I'll change the sheets later. Fuck. Hey, you're listening to KWN605, and it's now time for the weather flash with Cindy. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. Hi, Peter. Hey, it doesn't have time. A murder. I don't have time to clean up a murder. Last spoke. Zarathustra. Zarathustra. I've read it so many times, I know half of it by heart. Never submit. <laughs> I was hoping that it would be Schrodinger, man. I need some Schrodinger's cat in this, dude. Every good Kino game has Schrodinger's cat in it, man. Is this just like a fucking chest, man? Like a fucking. Like a. Like a from a different game, man. This apartment's a little suspect, man. Hey, right, this is some fucking spooky ass apartment, dude. Does he have a fucking bathroom in this bitch? The fucking public bathroom, man. In the year to the Lord. My parents, Marcus and me, 
before the accident. Stress. You get stressed by seeing this thing, then fucking don't leave it there. But he's a painter, man. I'm an artist. A performance artist. I live out people's deep, dark fantasies. This will be my wrists are murder so bloody. in the Cafe Express. Bum, 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 bum. Bum, 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 bum. Maybe he has to like go through his bathroom or his front door to get to his fucking like bathroom. I thought we were like going outside. Got this huge living room bedroom combo. An artist and a detective. Maybe there's a robot in here too. Nice wallpaper, my dude. Listen, if we're gonna make a story. We need a detective that's trying to put another character that you play as in jail. You need a conflict in the perspectives. And also, we need art underlying every <laughs> art. So that people know that this is a, this is a an art game. This is not a game. This game has... This is an interactive experience. <laughs> I hope this has deep symbolism. That we're creating a piece of art. If you put art in, boys, that makes it art. You see? Interactive game. <laughs> I'm loving the formatting on this here. Two, well, several violent video games, man. We need to ban video games, boys. Fuck video games, dude. Wait, what year is this, man? He's got a hologram... Fucking... Monitor? I just fucking noticed, dude. Looks like he's living... Part in the future, part in the fucking medieval ages, and part, like, modern day, man. He's got, like, a fucking chest from, like, the Crusades. I legitimately did not even remember that they had this kind of technology in this game. New York what in police. the fuck? Please open the door. Oh, guess I was fucking around too much. What the fuck? Hey, what's that? Stay where you are and put your hands in the air. These images in my head. Get ready. I'm losing my mind. See the future, boys. my wrists. Hello, Lucas. It's Marcus. I'm calling oh, because God. tomorrow is the 10th anniversary of the accident. I thought well, maybe we might want to go together this time. Anyway, give me a call. Goodbye. Jesus Christ. Ah! Kino vision. Careful, boys. It's powerful. The clothes that I was wearing last night, they're covered in blood. I'd better not leave them there. Where is his fucking washing machine, dude? Can barely tell where the fuck anything is in this bitch. I just have like a bathroom, man. Oh, like fucking must must be it. I 
I mean, he has more clothes than that, but. I think we wash. Maybe, yeah. I don't know. Let's wash him up. Maybe he'll fucking drink. Ugh. Dude, your wrists. You buffoon. Oh, we need a shower? Policeman can wait. <laughs> Get him a nice slow suds. We probably didn't turn on the washing machine then. How deep is David Cage going then? Dude, his wrist is still not clean. That policeman is fucking waited. Godly. No, that's his future vision, dude. He's not here yet. Oh, dude, that's right. Holy fuck. <laughs> I'm stupid. Now the policeman's here. Please open the door. Dude, why is his fucking wrist not fucking good to go, man? Police, open up. Just a minute, I'm coming. I can't let you find any evidence linking me to last night. I've got a couple seconds to hide everything before I get the door. Dude, this is the how do you wash his wrist? <laughs> <laughs> like we fucking took a shower, dude. That's not proper oh. technology. <laughs> what do I need to do? Everything else seems okay. That's fucking bandages or something. I don't know. Open his mirror. Maybe anyway, that's the first aid, boys. What the fuck? That's actually a hit. Quickly, dude, bandage quicker, man. Dude, I have seen this game, but I don't remember any actual like solutions to things morning. like this. That was just now, so stupid. Or I knock it 